Now I understand you guys don't have 25, 30 minutes to watch a video like this. So on screen right now, I put an overview of the different skills that I'm talking about. There are seven different, uh, seven or six different skills that I'm talking about in this video, and I have links in the annotations. So please have your annotations on. Unless you want to watch the whole video, that's totally fine. But uh, definitely look at that because it will, it will help guide you through the video a little bit easier if you don't want to watch everything. Thank you. Hey friends, it's Skezzy and welcome to another how-to video. Now in the background, it kind of looks a little different and it is different because last night I posted on my Twitter or whatever it's called, I tweeted. I needed to ask a question, so I figured some people were using something called straw poll, so that's what I did. Um, the question was, what would you like to see in my bonus XP weekend prep series? First one was, gathering bible and other skills all collaborated into different videos three different videos to be exact so one for gathering one for bible and then the rest of them or one video for each skill it would be a lot of videos for me before the bonus xp weekend because there's only around seven days left or eight days left um and then the last one wasn't really like a it wasn't a or kind of uh, answer it was just extra credit would you like me to explain the best time to purchase items and tips to get you ready for like as an overview such as like um, planting farm runs and uh, buying different things looking at the GE graph um, but <clears throat> I don't know how long these straw polls are supposed to be but it's been maybe 10 or 12 hours since I posted it and it's got 13 total votes which is satisfactory to me um, I'm all right with that and the majority said gathering Bible and other skills all clapped into three videos so this video is going to be the Bibles the rest of the Bible so we're going to touch on summoning cooking construction farming fire making uh, we already did fetching herb lore and prayer we're gonna do smithing summoning and um, I think that's going to be it for this video and then there's going to be a combat one that I want to do which will incorporate all the combat skills and then one for the gathering skills where I'll, I will compare them now I have a fire making spreadsheet in the background I made this pretty quickly um, it just has normal through other log I skipped a couple of different logs but first off I do not recommend that you do bonfire cremation or even normal um, line fire making during bonus XP weekend because you can just use the book of char all the way to 200 mil while doing your other skills or even 99 or 120 whatever you want it just takes a little longer so this is just for the impatient people who don't really consider the long run for um, what's going to benefit them during the bonus XP weekend. I don't recommend doing fire making, but I put this up here so you guys can see the different XP rates and the uh, time for 99, 120, 200 mil cost for each of those respectively. So the calculations for each of these is pretty much the same as the last video. This is the total bonus XP, which is the bonus XP, which I did take out the pulse cores because it's un I was told it was unreasonable that someone would have a pulse cord because they're kind of rare but I was under the impression that if you have a big group of people there's gonna be at least one person using like if there's 50 people underneath you training at the same spot like Lumbridge let's say then I was under the impression that someone in that 50 people would have a couple of pulse uh, cores but if that's not the case then uh, I def I took it out you know, so these are more, more, um, better XP rates for you guys. Now, the GP per XP is literally just the cost per item divided by the experience per action, which makes sense. It's the cost per item, experience per item, the items cancel out, and you just got cost per experience, which makes complete sense. This is time for 99, just 13 mil divided by the experience per hour. And you can see fire making is kind of slow. For a viable, um, it would take you a thousand, over a thousand hours to get 200 mil from normal logs. Take you 150 hours from elder logs, but it would cost you two bill. 
um, you can cut that cost down by using um, the Book of Char with Elder Logs. You can probably cut that down to around 500 mil. I can't really confirm or deny that right now, but I believe you do get 900 or it's either 900 or 1700 per. Uh, no, it's 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 uh it's 900. It's around 900 per burning log, so it's about double. Um, so you would only be spending 1.1 bill for 200 mil, which it isn't bad. Um, and then you could even cut it down by using magic logs and only spend 200 mil on it. So, um, well, actually, no, because it wouldn't be bonus XP weekend. No, 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 it would be because. It would still be around 400 mil. Forget I said that. I missed something on the GP per XP. I had to divide by the total uh, multiplier that you would get on the bonus XP weekend. So it's a lot cheaper than originally anticipated, which is actually nice. Now smithing can be done a couple of different ways. I will show on screen in a minute the spreadsheet that I have for it. But in the background, you can see I'm just doing a little bit of artisan's workshop. In the background, I'm making some rune plate legs just to test the amount of ticks that it takes to actually make them so I can update my spreadsheet that you can see in a minute. And it's also for background footage so you guys can see kind of how to make the different items in this series. I have here the smithing calculations for Ritho bar, Adamant bar, rune bar, and then I have also for the artisan's workshop Mythal 3, Addy 3, Rune 3. I don't suggest using Rune 3. You can see how much it costs. And then there's visages where you might not think, hey, a visage would be good to smith during a bonus XP weekend. But if you do it correctly, you get you buy them and you sell them or even out them, it really only costs 6 or 7 GP per XP, which isn't too bad for a buyable. Um, but you can always go the route of animate there's a couple of different things that you can have add on to it like um, the crystal hammer and the scroll of um, what is the scroll name I believe it's the scroll of efficiency now that would bring this down to, um, a lot actually but um, I don't assume that everybody has those two items but if you do maybe uh, I'll, I'll put a better number up here basically if you go to the calculator smithing profit wiki page you can find um, the different columns for um, the different items now here we were doing burn plate legs and it's saying that it's actually profit to do this now this is the number that i was using divided by the bonus xp weekend so this one's more realistic number and this one's an even more realistic number um Profit 4 would be the Crystal Hammer, Portable Forge, and Scroll of Efficiency. So the people who are going for 120 and 200 mil should have all of those things if they're completionists or whatever. So you'd actually be making money on that. Now you would be making 3.17 divided by the 2.58 that we have. So you would only, because you're getting 2.58 more experience per um per thing so you would be making less if that makes sense but you would still be making money so if i were to recommend any methods for smithing during the bonus xp i would recommend um before you're 99 to do uh mithril plate bodies get that up then you want to do adamant plate bodies and then um moon legs once you're i believe 99 for those um, if you're going for the 120 or 200 mil, and this is the cost for each and the time it would take for each. I kind of got to go faster on these because otherwise it's going to be a very long video, so I'm going to end up cutting a lot of this stuff out. The recommended crafting choices on a bonus XP weekend would be dragon hide shields, either green, blue, red, or black, royal dragon hide bodies, air battle staffs, or gems like diamonds or dragon stone. Here is the crafting spreadsheet that I made up. Here's the level, the different types of items. 
all different bonuses that you're going to get experience per action actions per hour which is based on the tick system xp an hour gp per xp time for each one of these please pause the video i don't want to get into it too much because there's a lot of stuff to cover in this video the recommended choices for cooking on a bonus experience weekend would be wines rock tails any fish that you can cook at your level honestly and then also summer pies using the lunar spell bake pie here's the spreadsheet for cooking has lobster swordfish monkfish shark rock tail wines and summer pies these are respective levels cost per item and these are all the bonuses experience per action ax actions per hour which are based on ticks xp an hour gp per xp time for 99 time for 120 time for 200 mil cost for each of them please pause the video for construction you're going to want to try to make some flat sam pond brokers now the way you do this is with eight mahogany planks or eight teak planks you can make the driftwood prawn brokers this is going to be the highest level that you can get and you can do it yields it, how much does it yield 1120 experience per drop and basically it uses the most the thing with construction is when you're doing construction you have to take into account the amount of planks that you're using for your item so before the aquarium came out we were doing just mahogany tables because it used six and that was like the highest you could do with using just mahogany um, planks now there were a couple other methods but they were really unreasonable price wise but uh some of the recommended choices for construction during a bonus xp weekend would be oak larder oak doors teak tables teak prawns mahogany table and mahogany prawn in the background i'm just doing some mahogany prawn because the level for those is 73 so most of you would be at 73 if you're not at 73 then you can do oak larders or even uh, mahogany tables till 73 and uh from there, you pretty much want to do uh, mahogany uh, prawns to 99, 120, or 200 mil. So this is a spreadsheet for construction that I have. These are the names, different levels, cost per item. And this is the different bonus XP that you can get on the bonus experience weekend. Experience per action, actions per hour here uh, based on ticks, XP an hour based here gp per xp time for each of them and the cost as well please pause the video there are two different methods that i can recommend for summoning on a bonus xp weekend first there's the taverly method which is the one i strongly recommend um jagex updated some of the items to where it's not actually as much to um to, to buy and sell to the um summoning master there which is really really nice uh in its own respect and you can just make so many more uh, pouches per hour and then the second method in the background is the kayak method where you just run to a location near Eagles Peak and summon at that place. Now here is the summoning spreadsheet that I came up with. It is a little more complex because there's a lot of different factors going into it and there's a couple different methods. Um, I put both of them on here because I know some of you want to spend less money and some of you want to get summoning really fast. So the ones who want to use less money are probably the lower levels and the people who are going for 200 mil or 120 are probably the ones who would do the Taverly method. So these are the different levels that are respectively for each of these different uh, summoning familiars. Now the first two are gold. The second two are green the next two are actually granite lobster is crimson geyser titan is blue charms and then yak and steel titan are both crimson as well so um this is the original cost per item it would be if you're doing the kayak method meaning you're just using the um the necessary materials and the uh, necessary shards which for the terror bird it would be a raw bird meat and i think 12 shards and that is like 500 gp 
and you get the product which is a terabird pouch which is 2000 gp on the grand exchange so you actually make 1500 gold per one of those made so if you look over here at the cost for 99 you would actually make 120 if you had enough charms for 99 for that because it's a negative value and the negative value in here would be a profit because most of the skills that i'm talking about are going to be um buyables at least in this video so it, it just makes sense to have a positive cost number right so that's this that's this column here cost per item now for the taverly method it's a little different because it includes the materials that you have to buy to pay for it and you're also since you're not banking in the method you are making them into scrolls so instead of having a instead of having one pouch per um set you would have 10 scrolls per uh charm sorry per charm use so this is the amount per a turbard scroll so 52 times 10 of those and this little chunk here is the number that you would have to sell the item to the store and then buy it back for so you would sell it for 18 gp you would buy it back for 63 gp and that gives you a cost of 25 gp per item so you're not making anything on the terror bird you're actually losing 25 gp per gold charm um and here down in this area is the different time it would take you to uh get it and this is based off of this is um based off of the terror bird actually i should bring these down really quick just so you know that those are what those are there boom so those are the respective ones this is what it would cost you and this should be changed to here one sec let me just fix this okay so i fixed those numbers it would cost around two mil for 99 with the turbirds instead of making 120 mil it would cost you two mil which is still like literally negligible but it would it would take you around six hours to get 99 from that um if my numbers are correct and you would use seventy-eight thousand gold charms which i don't really recommend you do and you probably don't even have that many um when i was doing 200 mil summoning i had over a hundred thousand gold charms sixty thousand green charms over a hundred fifty thousand maybe 200,000 crimsons and I believe 30 or 40,000 blues and I did end up using all of those because I did not do it on a bonus XP weekend. I did it on a random weekend um, that I felt like I had some extra time to just do it and I banged it out in the day and a half literally. So this you could, I mean you can the XP per hour on a bonus XP weekend using Geyser Titans alone is 24 mil an hour. You could get that in eight or nine hours you could get 200 mil if you had all blue charms now most people don't have all blue charms so you're gonna have to you know take the the little cut for doing 13 mil an hour or 13.5 but again you want to see all the xp rates all the the costs and stuff for each of the things it's on the screen so uh please definitely uh just look at that and now just to clarify this is the kayak method and this is the tavern method they should be up to date so uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed i think that's gonna wrap it up i have to do i think i'm gonna make a farming one on its own because farming is more of like a, a preparation video so and this these are like xp rate preparations um but i'll put farming into the uh, the next video that i make thank you very much for watching the video I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I will see you next time. Peace.